The history of the hall goes way back, the kind of 12th, 13th century buildings, but I guess the crucial time was in 1925. The estate was bought by Dorothy and Leonard Elmhurst as a centre, if you like, in rural reconstruction and re-energising the local rural economy, but of course they also refurbished and developed all the buildings to essentially what they are today. And the trust was founded by them in July 1932 with responsibility for this estate but more importantly running uh, a whole range of programs pioneering ideas to address pressing problems. The gardens are important to us because they're inspirational. We have about a million visitors a year. Whoever the visitor is they can for free experience these gardens and, and find inspiration from them. So it draws people in and it's one of our absolute gems. One area we work in is in the arts, and that's increasingly about reinforcing how the arts in their own way are important, and participating in the arts is actually good for your own self-development. We support emerging young talent, and our job is to bridge that gap between their learning of an instrument, learning how to dance, how to act, and then making that sustainable career. The Darton International Summer School is over 60 years old. I think that's increasingly a kind of gem that we have in the summer months. It's one of the leading arts festivals in the UK. The effect of our work has now gone very transatlantic with a partnership called the Transatlantic Arts Consortium. That's brought together Dartington, California Institute of the Arts and Idlewild School in Los Angeles to create a whole range of international projects funded by American philanthropy. You can really divide the sustainability work into three areas. Schumacher College was established 17 years ago, really raising the issue of climate change and ecological matters, so at the time incredibly pioneering. It's very highly regarded, particularly internationally. The certificate in education at Schumacher has an effect at countries across the world, really, where that certificate is used in different ways in other areas. Secondly, more recently, is the Landscope Project, which is a way that we invite existing businesses to come and work at Dartington, making better use of our land. We've got projects like Gradefield Timber, a sustainable timber yard, which is constructing its building at the moment, which will be the largest straw bale building in the southwest, we understand, uh, using sustainable materials to uh, produce timber, which in itself will create all sorts of different byproducts. Uh, the third area of sustainability is to develop our own practice in being a sustainable organisation and we have the ambition to be carbon neutral by 2015. We've recently invested in the Lower Tweed Mill. It's going to be the base for the new e-commerce business for the Cider Press Centre. From a sustainability point of view, the water wheel itself will generate power to run the building, which we're really excited about. So again, trying to link up a business idea, i.e. the e-commerce site, but actually to do it in a sustainable way. The other area in which we work is social justice. That is very much framed within support for children and families and adults who have difficult and complicated lives. Uh, and that work is led by research in practice and research in practice for adults. Those organisations are based here. They work very closely with grassroots workers. So really they translate the academic research into how to improve the quality of lives of children and family and adults in vulnerable situations. The Cider Press Centre is one of what we call our trading subsidiaries and it's involved in retail. Great gifts, great goods, foods, flowers, plants, all sorts of things. It's actually a critical part of our work and commercial activity, as is the catering and accommodation and conferencing centre in the courtyard. Both operations, they make profits, the more they make can support the charitable work. I don't think people realise enough that we're actually a charity. In being a charity, we're there to address pressing problems with innovative solutions. We want to make the world a better place. To do that, we, know that we need to work with great people. To do that, we need continued support and investment and resources. Anyone can come and experience this. We're not a kind of gated community. I think that's an important message to get across, that anyone can come here free to experience what we do. We're very accessible, we're very externally focused, and we're here to welcome people.